Hello, this is Murray Gans, the Scanning Electron Microscope Lab Coordinator here at Eastfield College. And uh, in conjunction with the Fast Food Nation book that we're reading this year, uh, I wanted to do some imaging of some fast food. So I went to one of my favorite places, which I will not show you because I don't want to denigrate them. But basically I bought at 8.45 this morning, I bought an order of onion rings, an order of uh, french fries, and an order of uh, tater tots down in there somewhere. I'll show you. There's the tater tot. All right. And the first thing I'm going to do here, besides take my usual images on the dissecting light microscope and the, uh, the scanning electron microscope, is I'm, we're going to do something called a, a, a lipid test. But the lipid test is pretty simple. You basically just take some brown paper and you, uh, you put your, what you're testing on it, and if it contains lipids or fats, it makes a grease spot just like this. So here are the results of my lipid test uh, with the fast food I bought this morning. Uh, so I, this, this onion ring just took it right out of the bag and let it here on this uh, on this brown paper and you can see all the grease that that flowed out of it. This one I actually cut, cut the end off and set it face down. Again a lot of grease there. So here's our french fries and, and you can see that uh, still has grease in them uh, but not quite as much. Matter of fact the, the small fry looked like it had almost as much grease as the the larger fry. The uh, the overall winner was were the tater tots. This is this is quite remarkable. My, my little tater tot man here with this with this <laughs> face and two eyes here. So this one, again, did nothing but take this right out of the bag and set it down on the brown paper. Cut one in half here and all the grease drained out of the inside of this and you can see a tremendous amount of grease came out of here. So again, we, we're getting a lot of fat out of these uh, out of these fast foods. So then I wanted to really see how much grease was in these. So what I did was I, I took my little blue Eastfield mug here and I squished them. So I squished the tater tot and I squished the fry and I squished the onion ring. And again, it's just, look at the, I'll move this squished tater tot out of the way here. There's so much grease here, I can actually see almost through the paper. You can see my hands through the paper. That's quite disgusting. Uh, the french fry, even though we didn't have a lot at first, when you squish it, there's a lot there. And then Mr. Onion Ring again. Again, we've got so much, we've got so much uh, oil on this that we've actually, uh, you can see my hands through the brown paper. So what we've shown here so far is that these, uh, these fast foods actually do have quite a large fat content. So this is a tater tot as it appears under the light microscope, um, and you can see it's you can see some grease there. Um, I did notice, and of course, as you as you look at stuff, you start to see images. Here's a, a picture, kind of a flag here, zero in that, and you can just look at the grease. Holy mackerel! And this is a, this is a regular old fresh tater tot. Uh, inside the tater tot looks kind of juicy, doesn't it? Well, guess what? All that juice is once again that is just grease everywhere. So now let's look at the tater tots under the scanning electron microscope. I was a little bit surprised. I really didn't expect to see much here, but uh, I guess I guess when you're offered a chance to see a landscape in in batter, uh, you kind of put some some really weird things. So I just kind of looked around to find some of these very odd landscapes. This is uh, some batter on a tater tot, actually magnified uh, 110 times. Um, again, it looks like a, a some sort of mysterious cave here again this is the surface of a tater tot this is only at 21 times um, and then of course what would a tater tot be without salt so there's your salt right there uh, we can actually even get a, a close-up view of some salt crystals and they're actually kind of embedded in the batter here and then strangely enough I have no idea what that shape is uh, it just kind of showed up it's this little empty rectangle that was on the tater tot the french fries weren't uh, as interesting in terms of texture surface textures because of course they're not battered you just throw that chunk of potato into the deep fat fryer there and see what happens. So my first image here to me kind of looked like the Himalayan mountains viewed from space. Um, and then um, then this was interesting. Again, this was to me like the surface of Mars. You can see all these swirlies over here in this gaping hole. So it turns out that this was actually what I thought was a brown spot on the end of the French fry. And you can see it's, it looks sort of like a cave. Most interesting were the onion rings. Uh, I guess because they, they do have a lot of texture. You can see here that they're, this is why they're really crunchy. Now, the strange thing about running these electron microscopes is you get to see these pictures in detail as, they, as they're formed line by line. And I started noticing something here. And this little structure right here kind of, to me, looked like a, like an evil Elmo. I don't know if you can tell. There's his nose. you got a couple eyes there. This little body, maybe one little hand here. Here's what uh, Elmo looks like up close. Again, there's his face, his body down here. Uh, I also, while I was looking around, noticed this formation, which you can't tell much about from here, but to me it looked just like a, a girl. 
and she's got long blonde hair. I know, I've gone insane. Uh, you can see her face, kind of a bumpy face there. And her hair is even tied down with a little ribbon right there. Isn't that bizarre? And I uh, also found this. You'll have to look at this carefully for a second. Here is another face right in the center. There's there's a nose there. There's a mouth there. This That's the hair right up in there. Uh, again, very, 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 very weird. Well, so, so basically... Uh, What's, what conclusion can you draw from looking at your food up close and personal? Oh, that's a lot of grease in there, and basically that much grease can't be good for you, so don't eat it. All right, until next time, this is Murray Gans from the Scanning Electron Microscope Lab here at Eastfield College.